Sim the World here. We are back with our series playing Farming Simulator 19. We are on the Alpine Expansion. This is a... This is a really nice map. It's really, really quaint. We're out in the, the Alpines, of course, as the name suggests, and... Currently, we are working on a cattle farm, or a dairy farm, I should be more specific. We're not raising the cows for slaughter, but instead for the dairy. As we... I, I finished up the con... or at least baling and wrapping for the contract last night. I took the equipment we don't need back to our farm. Uh, that's kind of why I got a late start today. Got down here around 6 a.m. after taking care of the cows, of course. We have to make sure they're happy. Because while the contract work is nice, they are our source of income. Their health is back up to 76%, which makes me happy. We have 6,000 liters of milk in the, uh, in the dairy farm. And that's not even looking at whatever we have in storage. Uh, we might have to take a run back, maybe when we deliver these bales, uh, when this contract is actually finally complete, we can go ahead and take a look at how much milk we have in total. Obviously, I'm waiting for the market to kind of turn in our favor. <laughs> if I'm not supplying the community with milk, I want to get that price up to... Well, at least the last time when it was in high demand, it was a little over two dollar, uh, yeah, two dollars a liter. So if we can get that price again, based on how much milk we have right now, that'd be about forty thousand dollars. That ain't too shabby, <laughs> and by that point, we'll be pretty pretty damn close to purchasing that field next to us. Of course, we got to collect all these bales. I am not sure how many there are. I think there are over 50. It's going to take at least... It's going to take three trips. The third one might not be completely full, but we will need a third trip to the, the farm. Oop, that's spun out of the way. Now I'm just kind of cutting across, grabbing whatever. Yeah, so it holds 24 in total. Now let's take a look at the map. I gotta figure out where we're taking this to. So for the contract, we need to take this to the Edge Baylor's Barn Deluxe. What is that? Oh boy, that is, that's Bale Sales. So they're in high demand, but for the contract, we're taking it up over here. So the quickest way might just be to cut through town. Yeah, it is a far ways away. We'll, we'll drive through town. We haven't gotten a good look at it. I'll let you guys tag along with me on this first run, and then, of course, I'll finish it up in the background. All these circles, even in real life, there's a, oh no, no, not the light, not the light pole. As I was saying before my poor driving rudely interrupted me, uh, some of those circles, <laughs> I shouldn't say it, but uh, definitely there are some circles where I live that are pretty low like those, where the curb kind of blends in with the road I don't know if they do it that way on purpose or not, but I definitely, I, I definitely go as straight as possible without being a complete asshole. Run over the edge of it just a little bit, especially when they're tight like that. Here's here's a perfect example. We're coming up on a circle, and we want to go straight. Um, there's something in the middle, but you don't want to. You want it. It's nice to cut that as close to as possible. Of course, this circle we're going to kind of ignore. 
where a tractor with a bunch of bales. Where is that train? Train by it? Okay, so I had to help the train along. Boy, this this contract just never wants to finish. I'm gonna come up here, make a left, and the cell location is going to be up on top of the hill. We can do that. Maybe it's not as far as I thought it'd be. Yeah, you can see the barn up there. That very, very alpine-y looking barn. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, I made a few adjustments to the map. I uh, added a few more cell locations, things like that. Let me go ahead and we'll see if this works. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Hold on a second. I'll be back. Okay, so that took way longer than it should have. This is probably the way the modder intended for this to be used. There we go. Perfect. What a mess that was. <laughs> oh, very tough. So now, let's go grab the rest of them. That was 63%, so we've done more than half that we need to bring here. I'm curious to see... I'm just going to cut through here, too. Um, just exactly how much we need to get. And of course, the the main question that I'm concerned about, if we continue to sell all the bales that we don't need to transport, will that show up as grass that we're selling or as silage, like the contract intends? Stay tuned to find out. So I'm back with the next batch, and... I only brought 20 bales. I only dropped I only brought 20 bales back because I think I only need 19 more to finish the contract. Uh, based on that 63% for what we did bring. So if this works, yeah, contract 15 is finished. Interestingly enough, we didn't get any money for that last bale. And I think it's because it's a wrapped grass bale. Like when you saw earlier what they're labeled as when they're on the trailer, it's labeled as brown bale. But I don't think we could... And that's why I only brought 20. It doesn't make sense that we'd be able to sell it, because it's not silage. And a wrapped grass bale isn't a thing in this game, other than waiting for it to ferment. So with that being said, that's why I didn't fill the trailer. I didn't want to risk not getting money for something that we've produced. So then that does leave us with the remaining bales on the field. And to be clear, there's only six. Uh, it's not like we're walking away with a lot of these bales. So I guess there was exactly 50 bales out of that field. That's pretty interesting. I thought it was going to be closer to 60. I don't know. Did you guys guess? Did you guys get it right? <laughs> I, I was a little bit off. But we're going to pick up those six bales and I'll put them in our storage area so they can continue to ferment and we can sell them later but then don't want to smash into him but yeah that's that's what I meant about cutting circles <laughs> let's catch cut the edge but then this does leave us at the point it's only when I get these bales back to the farm it's gonna be noon probably have a quick lunch Take care of the cows, clean up all the all the mess that they've made. But that does leave us with a good chunk of the afternoon. And of course, I don't want to be wasting my time not making money. So that does leave us with the question, which contracts do I take? Let's take a look.
So we'll get the 20,000. We can actually collect it, right? Well, let me pick these bales up first. I'd just be concerned that uh, it doesn't let us collect them or something weird like that. Again, new to the game, not entirely sure how it works. These should be our bales. But I... Not risking losing money. Because six bales at $400 a bale, that's still $2,400. It's worth some money. And yes, let's take a look. We can collect our 20 grand. And there's a bailing for field 24. That would be the field right next to the barn we were at. Actually, let's see. Where would we deliver? We'd be delivering the bales right next to it. That is actually pretty tempting. We probably should have started with that one. Let's let's continue driving back. I gotta get rid of these bales. But then our other option is there's a lot of fertilizing contracts. So I don't know if I want to kill the afternoon by fertilizing a couple fields. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to bale and wrap that whole field in time. I'd be finishing that tomorrow. So I'm leaning towards finishing up the day with some fertilizing, which of course I'll do off camera. It's hard to tell with these jobs. Um, one, after doing this bailing job on this field, I can definitely attest to the fact that I made the correct decision buying this auto-loading trailer. I invested heavily on mowing and bailing equipment, and I think it just paid off big. There's a lot of people that will play this game where they don't get the auto loaders, but instead they'll use, you know, they'll buy a trailer, they'll stack, they'll cinch that down with straps. And to that, I, I tip my hat to you, because <laughs> I could not do that. If I had to pick up 50 bales with a spike, load them onto a trailer, and drive them somewhere, I'd be losing my mind. Butch, watch out! No! Oh! Oh, somehow missed that tire. Butch is one lucky dog, I'll tell you that. He he likes to run near the tires, likes to sniff what's where it's been. But yeah, I, I could not work with the bale's fork. I, I don't have the patience for that. Maybe if it was a small farm, and that's what I think a lot of people will be playing on with that. And of course, if we were to do field 24, I would also increase the bale capacity. Well, maybe. It's, it's right nearby. I kind of view that as cheating just a little bit. It's convenient, but <laughs> not exactly what I want to do. But you guys can let me know your suggestions down in the comments. What should we be doing this summer? Should we focus on bailing contracts? Should we be spicing it up with some fertilizing contracts too? I'm still new at the game, so I'm still figuring out what's going to work best for us and our dairy farm. Of course, as we collect money, our goal is to expand this out and collect as much as we can. So with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, or follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.